boys and girls. Uh, today we're going to go through what Eric Carle does when he's creating his pictures for his books. So what we're going to get out is tissue paper. So if you have tissue paper or you can go to the dollar store and grab some tissue paper, you need tissue paper and then just having a blank piece of paper. I use a little thicker paper so if your mom's or dad's have scrapbooking paper or manila tag that works well. If not, just any piece of paper works well. Paint and a paintbrush. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our papers out and today I want to make a ladybug. So I'm going to take out papers that I can use to put patterns and designs on. So we're not going to cut out a ladybug right now. What we're going to do is we're going to create the parts to the ladybug. So right now I'm going to create the piece that goes on the body of the ladybug. And I chose orange and what I'm going to do is any kind of design or pattern on my paper. And since we're doing a smaller ladybug, I'm just going to fold it in half and I'm gonna put my patterns on it here. So I'm thinking I might just do stripes or streaks for this one. So straight across the line. So I'm gonna take my paint and I'm just gonna streak it across, kind of like stripes. So I'm choosing to skip a spot and it's orange on part and red on part of it. So I'm just gonna go across and my line, my pattern's gonna be red, orange, red, orange. So I decided just for mine that when I want it to be straight. So Eric Carl designs and creates patterns on his tissue paper and then he cuts them out to make his animals in his book. And that's how he designs a lot of his artwork. I can't speak for all of it, but that's how he designs much of his uh, animals for his books. So you think of that hungry caterpillar or my kids have brown bear. And the animals there, if you take a look at them, they have different patterns because he's created it. I'm going to do one more line. I don't need to do the whole paper. I just need to have enough that this fits onto there when it's dry. Then next, what I would like to do is ladybugs have dots. So what I'm going to do is then take my paintbrush and I'm just going to go on the paper and in different areas, I'm just going to put polka dots on my page wherever I feel like them. So I would continue on my paper I'm not going to do the whole thing today because I'll show you at the end what everything looks like. But I'm just going to continue on and I'll do one more spot. So you're going to continue just designing your paper. So my first pattern is red stripes and polka dots. Then I'm going to move on and I'm going to move to the face of my um, ladybug. So all I've done is just a little circle. So I don't need this whole paper because I'm only painting a little area. I can just have my tissue paper maybe folded into a few small pieces and I'm just going to do a little area. So I think what kind of patterns do I want more in my face? Well, what, maybe I'm going to mix reds and blues. So I'll just take my red and I'll take my blue and I'll just make a really cool color here. So I'm going to maybe just go back and forth and do kind of like a um, pattern back and forth crisscrosses and maybe just all over my page, I will add reds and blues and crisscross on here. Just crisscross, crisscross. I don't need very much, so I'm not gonna fill the whole page, but you can see my pattern on this one is a crisscross pattern. I'm gonna set that to the side. Now, I need my antennas. So if we take a look, I, my antennas are very little. I might need bigger antennas, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to now create a pattern on my paper. So I'm gonna take purple. I think purple's a really cool color. Maybe it has a little bit of blue in there. You might need a few more brushes than I grabbed. And my antennas are gonna be purple. So I'm going to do a zigzag pattern. So on my paper now, I'm gonna create like a zigzag pattern. three different patterns on my papers. You can do whatever patterns you want. And you can use your papers to cut out other animals as well. So I'm going to go back to my purple. I'll just do one more purple line because I don't need very much for this.
want to hold it up, and I'm going to cut out when it dries my zigzag cut at that. So I'm going to let my papers dry, and then I'll come back with you and do a second part of the video where I show you how to cut out your animal and how to put it together. See you soon. Hi friends, I am back. So as you can see, I took my template, so my body template, and I cut that out of my red tissue paper. And you can see I have my stuff cut out. I took my template for my head that I had made for my ladybug, and I cut that out. I tried two different sizes. So I just cut it out of the tissue paper. And my antennas, I cut out of the pink tissue paper that I created my pattern on. So I had my three different patterns that I use. Now it's really important to make sure that you let them dry. So let them dry, set them to the side, and come back to them. And then what I did is I cut them out and I glued them down on my paper. And you can see I have an Eric Carl ladybug. You could add legs, you could add whatever you want. But just remember when you're creating your patterns, he creates unique patterns and designs on a paper. You can fill up the whole paper and make many animals if you'd like or just part of the paper, and then get your mom or dad or grandma or grandpa to help create the template on a thicker paper so that the, uh, your child can cut out the shape uh, that they designed or colored. So maybe you wanna use a straw and spray a pattern of different colors on your paper to make kind of like a splatter pattern. I have also in the past taken a lemon or a potato. Lemons are really cool, and I chose three different colors and I just made a paper full of patterns using the fruits and vegetables I have in my fridge. You can also take a Lego block. You can take items from the house and just create patterns on your tissue paper and then cut out your animal or your uh, creation and glue it down on a piece of paper. I hope you had fun. See you later, bye.